Hello friends, we are going to be discussing about geographies, topographic questions which have been asked to you during the first test, cyclic test one. These are the answers to that questions, that is the answer sheet. I am pretty much sure you have already received that answer sheet as well. All right, so here we are going to be discussing about the map that is of 45D10 and I'm pretty much sure you might be knowing this. There are two maps which is going to be asked to you in the board examination. It is either going to be 45D10 or it is going to be 45D7, right? So here we have one of those extracts which we are going to be talking about. The east things are 91 to 01 and north things are 73 to 83, right? Now children, as you can see out there, there are different types of questions which has been asked upon. It's a 20 mark paper and usually the distribution of the marks is uh, between one and two, right? So you can see how the questions have been either distributed one, one mark each or they'll be combined as two questions and two marks for each, right? Anyway, so as you can see, the very first question which has been asked to you is six figure grid for the triangulated height 217. As you can see out here, this triangulated 217. Now in the triangulated height 217, okay, just to uh, also remind you once again, whenever you're calculating a six figure grid, the rule is simple. First, you need to go with the four figure grid. If you remember, it is alphabet L, right? First, you'll be calculating the Eastings, then you'll be calculating the Northings. That's how it makes it an alphabet L. And then in order to calculate your uh, Six figure grid, you need to go to the number seven, ulta ho jayega, right? And then you'll be going back to the eastings first again, and then you'll be calculating the northings again, for which you'll be requiring a scale, right? So here the triangulated at 217 has been given to you, so to be asked upon, and that is why you'll be calculating and you'll be telling it. Remember one thing, children, for six figure grid, for the third position and the sixth position, you may be given a consideration of one number here or there. For example, it is supposed to be coming around, let's say 15, for example. So when you divide it, okay, so it should be coming 7.5. Now, if you either write seven or you write down eight, they will consider that, okay? In my opinion, you should always go to the lower number and that should be number seven. Let's take an example. So coming back out here, so here we have the triangulated height 217. This is how you have the first four figure grid, 94, 0, 79, 3. Now 0 and 3 is basically the six figure grid what we found out after calculating the four figure grid. In the similar lines, we have the lined well. A lined well is basically the well which is supposed to be having water and moreover it is properly constructed. It's a proper well which has been constructed for the purpose of storing the water. So here, another one which we have is 92, and 6, and 81, and then 4 again, right? In case if you have a digit in the third and the sixth position, if you have a little here or there, it's considered, okay? Let's come to the second one. Now over here, the question has been asked is on what, which is the left tributary of a particular river. So over here, the left tributary is Balaram Nadi you need to look at the flow of the river, in which direction is the river flowing, from where to where. For example, if the river is flowing from west to east, that is, it is moving from west to east. So this side becomes the left-hand side, this becomes the right-hand side. So anything out here which has been asked upon becomes your left bank tributary. Anything which is on the right-hand side of your river will become your right-hand tributary. So accordingly, you should be knowing how to divide left bank tributary and right bank tributary, right? So over here on the left bank tributary is the Balaram Nadi. Likewise, the next question which has been asked to you, what is the direction of the flow? So precisely they've said it is southeast to northwest. It's going a little tilted. Southeast to northwest. Come to the C question. They have told you to identify the feature which is associated with the stream. So in case if you find out the black broken lines, that it clearly indicates it's a broken ground. We know the fact, broken ground, takes place due to alternate weathering of that area, right? The very next is the pattern to be identified of the streams of the rivers, which has been seen. So it's a dendritic pattern. So we have radial, trellis, but over here the question and the answer is dendritic pattern. If at all children, you would like to revise this, please go ahead and see your RoboMate. All the different types of patterns are being covered upon in that. Next, if the four figure grid reference which has been asked for an open scrub, so it is 95, 73, and again the village Pandwada, it is supposed to be 99, 78. 
the following question that is the e question which has been asked to you you need to identify probably two relief features okay maybe they have given you uh, they have given you the four figure grid and then you have to identify that so over here we have an escarpment okay escarpment is a wall like structure for which you need to see the contour lines all these sign symbols have been covered upon in your master key soft copy in your robomed so please go ahead and revise it one second in case if it's going wrong the next is going to be a ridge or a watershed ridge is the perfect idea behind writing the right answer it's ridge ridge is again uh, if you must have seen basically it's uh, it's it's an elongated contour line which has been identified with two sections in between right so that is going to be a ridge likewise the next question which has been asked to you what could be the reason there is a limited cultivation in the map so first and foremost if there is limited cultivation then always search for sand dunes and how is the sand dunes be denoted so with a brown color patch and dot dots black dots will be marked upon on it this clearly indicates there is presence of sand or sand dunes remember when sand and sand dunes are the restrict that area for cultivation second if there is a broken ground in the surrounding areas any which will the land is unfit because there is no water the land has become completely dry it's a wasteland area so if you find these black broken lines it is identified near the stream has broken ground the following question which has been asked to you is g the direction of sangla to antroji remember one thing children always ask a question from where am i starting and where am i going to from to okay from a to b so the direction which is supposed to be pointing towards the b is the direction which you will be traveling so for example if you are in sangla and you are going towards antroli you will be going in the north east direction similarly if they ask you sangla to chekla which is the next question now sangla and chekla probably are supposed to be one above the other and specifically sangla may be lower and chekla is towards the north that is what is immediately said as it is written towards the north how do you identify it as only north if it's belonging to the same grid if a and b are in the same grid then we said as either north or it is south in this case it is north right likewise the following question that is the h1 the region how do we identify the region experiences a dry condition or lack of agriculture any such question will be asked so in all these conditions you can write down first the region receives a seasonal rainfall that means only for a particular season we will receive the rainfall what are the evidences to prove that so first we have a dry river now imagine for a minute if the rains would have been there throughout the year water would have been available the streams would have not been dry the rivers would have not been dry the banks would have not been dry but over here they are that means it's a clear indication that the conditions are hot and dry it is only for a particular season that they receive water plus there is presence of sand features like sand dunes and sandy areas and the presence of broken ground all of them are sufficient evidence to show that the area receives a seasonal rainfall also indicating that the rest of the time or the rest of the part of the year the land is completely dry coming to the i question in which they have asked you what is the contour interval contour interval is basically the interval between two contour lines on the map and every time it will be mentioned on the map you have to see it will be written as ci as 20 meters it's given and 99.99999% all your maps have the contour interval and the representative fraction which is the following question okay in both the cases you will find the answer to be remaining the same the contour interval will be 20 meters and your relief feature i'm sorry the representative fraction is 1 is to 50000 that means one unit on the map is equal to 50000 units on the ground it's a universal scale you can take it in centimeters inches however is convenient to you all the j question so over here they have asked what is the in general pattern of the settlement so the pattern is nucleated that means let's say for example they are very close to each other they settled together in a very close proximity to each other it is identified as nucleated if they would have been far away you could have written as this was a scatter right and only one house would have been in the entire area it is isolated right So coming to the next question, uh, reason why the regions are unsuitable for cultivation of crops. So as mentioned, first is broken ground is present, and how do you identify that? So white color region has also been seen out here, and the white color region is indicated with the barren land. Barren lands are those lands which are unfit for agriculture. Okay. 
So children, here we've discussed this entire paper. It was a very simple paper provided you refer to it, right? And I'm also very much sure that if you do topography thoroughly, if you practice it on a timely basis, even these basic things, if also if you do it and you revise it, I can assure you, you can score full 20 on 20 marks. And remember one thing, children, geography paper is very scoring. And as we've already discussed, in an 80 mark paper, 20 marks is for topography, 10 marks is for map of India, the balance 50 marks is your writing questions. So these 30 marks, that is your topography and 10 marks on map, is completely scored and it's in your hands. So I would humbly request you to please revise. At any point of time, if you have any doubts, do refer to your RoboMate and do get in touch with us. Right? Thank you so much. I'm wishing you all the very best. And I hope this paper was simple enough for you to attend. Thank you.